Peter, can you talk about how you use Notion throughout your company? And then on top of that, I would say, would you even would you recommend something like Notion for even smaller property manager property management companies as they're growing? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, we use Notion heavily at my company. Um, we use it as a knowledge base for internally for our employees. So that binder that Matthew was holding up, and I had one too, everything that was in there is now in Notion. Um, all the random emails, like as the owner, have you ever like sent out an email? You're like, from now on, we're no longer doing the refunds, on, right? You're like, you're like <laughs> writing policy in an email. And then like nine months later, it happens again. You're like, you don't remember my email? And they're like, dude, I was hired three months ago. I, didn't, I never got your email. You're like, oh man. <laughs> so now you like, you take all that stuff and you put it in Notion and it's there for everyone. It's searchable, it's editable, it's easy to update. You can comment, you can link to other pages within the knowledge base. So it's kind of like Wikipedia. And I've got a great video pinned to my Twitter profile doing a walkthrough of our Notion, showing exactly how we use it at our property management business to kind of stay sane. You know, it's web-based, there's a nice app. Um, and I encourage our whole team, anytime you're in Notion and you see something wrong, just fix it. Don't even ask me, just fix it right then and there because I want this to be like a living, breathing document. And the beauty of it is now, whenever someone comes to me with a question, first thing I say is, did you look in Notion? And if they say no, I say, okay, we'll go look in Notion because it's probably there. If they say yes and I couldn't find it, then I say, come over here sit down right here. I'm going to open a new Notion page and I'm going to write out the answer for you. Maybe I'm going to record a Loom video. Maybe I'm going to take some screenshots. We're going to do this together because you may know a little bit about it that I don't. I'm done. I'm going to fire you over the link. And now it's there forever for anyone who needs to know that. So it's super, super powerful. Um, and I, it, it's like one of my favorite things that I did over the past few years at our management company. How do you keep those up to date, Peter, like one of the things I found was, you know, I had this static book and then uh, I wouldn't touch it for six months and yep. then I'd come back to it and half of it's out of date. How, how do you think about keeping it up to date and stay disciplined to that? Yeah. So it's, I, I've tried to instill a culture of actually one of our company core values is do it in real time. So I've tried to instill a culture of keeping it up to date, like, and it's a just constantly coming out of my mouth. Uh, like we'll be in a meeting and we'll make some decision and I'll be like, make sure you update Notion. Do you update Notion? Okay. Right. And you're just constantly reminding people and then it becomes a resource for them. And, um, you know, it's not, it's not perfect. There's definitely stuff that's outdated and, you know, usually the stuff you know best, you just do it and then you forget that you made a change because it's kind of like you just have it memorized. But when you end up finding errors and making corrections is when you onboard someone new and you're sort of walking them through the various pages and you're like, oh, well, actually that's wrong. Let me go ahead and fix that real quick, right? And it's it's great because it's digital. You can fix it right there. You don't have to you know, print out a new page for the binder and then go find the three hole punch and all that stuff. 